Diabetes insipidus and SIADH are two conditions that occur due to dysregulation of antidiuretic hormone, or ADH. ADH is stored in the pituitary gland and released in response to low fluid volume. Think antidiuretic hormone means it causes the opposite effect of diuresis, meaning it signals the body to retain water. It does this by stimulating water retention in the kidneys and stimulating vasoconstriction in the blood vessels. In DI, there is hyposecretion of the antidiuretic hormone, meaning the body is losing excess water, as opposed to SIADH, where there is hypersecretion of ADH, which causes the body to retain water. In DI, symptom-wise, you'll see high urine output, high blood osmolality, think the blood is thick and concentrated, high sodium, low urine-specific gravity, and low urine osmolality. So expect the urine to be very light, almost like water. So in your patient, expect to see dry mucous membranes, poor skin turgor, hypotension, and excessive thirst. In SIADH, you'll see the exact opposite, low urine output, low blood osmolality, Osmolality because the excess water is diluting the blood, low sodium, high urine specific gravity, and high urine osmolality. So the urine will look very dark and concentrated. So you can expect to see weight gain in your patient from excess fluid, confusion and irritability, hypertension, and possibly seizures if not treated. Comment below if you'd like to see part two and check out the full study sheet and the nursing school success bundle.